Good YouTube. Um, it's a course Leviathan prophecy, and um, you know what, man? This is gonna be a very good topic. Um, so basically, you know, okay. So my question is, or today's topic is, why don't the NFL have a black owner? You know. I mean, you can have a, a black offensive coordinator, you can have a black defensive coordinator, you can have a black special teams head coach, you can have a wide receiver, black, I mean, you can have a, a, a black head coach wide receiver, but you can never, like the NFL will never have a black owner, you know what I'm saying? Now, why is that? Like, why don't the NFL have a black owner. The NBA, obviously, Jay-Z owned part of Brooklyn, probably 50% of Brooklyn. Uh, I don't know if he still owns the team, owns the team. Um, you have Michael Jordan, who um, is sharing 50% or 60% profit of the Charlotte Hornets, you know? Uh, in NBA, I, I mean... In the NFL, you have you have one Chinese who's a female. I think she's the owner of the Cardinals. Um, and then obviously the Jaguars, you have a Pakistanian. So it's a little bit diverse. You know what I'm saying? Um, but the reason why the NFL does not have a black owner is because they do not feel comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Like, they come from different back. All these owners that you see that's white in the NFL, they all come from the same background. Some came up poor, had to work their way up. Some had to, you know, some had it handed down to them from generations. Obviously, their dad probably owned the team and he passed away. And then, obviously, you know, they grew up and you know such and so forth but the reason why like i said the nfl does not have a black owner is because they do not view black people as well they do they do not view black men as they do not like they, like they don't hold black men to higher standards they don't think that we're, we're educated enough to figure things out by ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Like, we've made, like, they think like, they think like we, we make a whole bunch of dumb and stupid decisions. You know? A majority of them probably do. You know what I'm saying? If you look back at Jerry Reese, you know, Jerry Reese, the general manager of the New York Giants. He made some terrible decisions. Okay? He made some terrible decisions that probably would have cost Eli his first, well, actually his third Super Bowl, you know, because there was chances where Eli could have won the Super Bowl, you know what I'm saying? But the talent wasn't there, you know? Uh, Mike Tomlin, look how long he's got his job, you know? He should have been fired when it went 8-8, eight and eight. you know? There's numerous of times where, um, there was numerous of times where the Steelers Went seven and nine, eight and eight, six and ten. But you know what? They kept them. They kept them from all those years. You know what I'm saying? Um, what else? The Ravens. You know, like you have teams from different backgrounds. That's that's different. You know what I'm saying? So I just think that one day. This might happen while we are gone. This might happen while, I don't know. But for me, I can never see a black owner. There will never be a black owner in the NFL because the list is already full. You know, someone would have to, in order for somebody to actually own or for, in, in order for a black owner to own the team, they would have, they would actually have to buy the team. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then he'll just take over from there. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, why is it that a problem? You know, is it a skin problem? Is it a skin color? Is it, is it like, is it race? Like, like, what makes it so bad that we can't have a black owner in the NFL? But we can have black head coaches, black GMs, black, you know, uh, head coaches, black, you know, offensive coordinators, black defensive coordinators, you know what I'm saying? But we can never have an owner that's, you know, a part of the culture. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like how, you know, head of state where, where, or where, um, where, where Chris Rock was trying to run for president, but he wasn't qualified. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't qualified to even, you know, attempt to become president. And this was way before Barack Obama was president. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and Head of State is a very good movie. If you haven't really watched it, it's with Chris Rock and the late, great Bernie Mac. Great movie. Um, and I think that the... Um, yeah, so it's a very good movie. But um, I just think that, you know... I mean, I don't know, man. It's a touchy subject. You know, I don't want to come off, you know, racist or, you know, or this and that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to leave that to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, why don't we have a black owner in the NFL, but we have a black owner in the NBA? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you look at other sports, like the Major League Baseball, the Major League Hockey, you know, like, do those teams have any black owners? I doubt it, you know? I mean, even though there is one, I think there's only one like, I mean, I think there's only one black hockey player um, in the league. You know what I'm saying? Um, baseball, I don't necessarily follow baseball, but I, so I can't really tell who owns the team. But if I had to, you know, nitpick, I'll probably say they're all white. You know what I'm saying? So I just think that it goes back to, you know, stability, you know? Like, I just don't think that they feel safe. The white owners feel safe when a black quarterback or a black owner, it's in it's in the room because that's how they do their meetings, you know? Like, they, they call up each other and, you know, they, you know, there's like a big-ass table all around and then they all sit at their respective desk with their NFL logo on it. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, they discuss what they, they have to discuss. But imagine if there was a black owner in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, we all think differently, you know? Like, black people, we think outside the box sometimes. You know? And that's not how white people think. You know, white people think... So she, I mean, they, they think in a way of... If it's not, if it's not, if it's not broken, don't fix it. You know what I'm saying? But in the black owner's eyes, the black owner will try to maneuver through it. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, we know it doesn't work, but there's different alternatives we can do. You know what I'm saying? There's different routes we can go. You know what I'm saying? So I just think that we will never see a black owner. You know, um, and it's sad. It really is, you know, because the NFL is going to come off as a little bit of, a, a, you know, racist type of league. Like, like, OK, you can have all these different positions for these, you know, like guys, but you can't have a, 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 a owner. I mean, there was a lot of teams like Rick Ross wanted to, to own the Miami Dolphins. Uh, who else? The Black Panther. I mean, not the Black Panthers, the Carolina Panthers. So there was few teams, you know, um, that celebrities wanted to own the team. You know what I'm saying? But we're talking about, I mean, it could be celebrities, it could be whatever, but you know? But I don't think they would have put the chips in Rick Ross' hands. Like, imagine Rick Ross owning the Miami Dolphins. You know how, you know how embarrassing Rick Ross would make Miami Dolphins. 
Like Rick Ross know nothing about sports. He really don't. And it's it's not it's not it's not his fault. It's just you know the way I guess he was just the way he was brought up. You know, um, you know he acts like he's all in in these type of sports, but he's really not. You know, like he has no continuity about sports. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you know it's it, it is what it is. You know, at the end of the day. Um, I just feel like, you know, people need to, uh, you know, be self more observed, you know. Uh, yes, we don't have a black owner. Would we like a black owner in the future? Maybe when we're gone, maybe when our grandkids or ya grandkids grow up. I highly doubt it, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because most of those owners are probably going to be dead by the time 2050 hits. You know what I'm saying? And then it's a generation thing. So if they die, guess who's going to take over? Exactly. So it's a moving it's a moving step, you know what I'm saying? Just like how uh Steve, what what was his name? Steve McNair, the the owner of the um of the Texans who who said that oh we can't have the inmates run the asylum. What happened? He obviously died. Guess who's owning that team right now? His wife. Right? Not his kids, because obviously his kids are, you know, 6, 5, 10 years old. But when they grow up into their 20s, 30s, they're going to take over the team. So it's more of a family business oriented than what it is today. You know? That's all the owners, that's all the NFL owners is about. Family orientation you know if you don't have that you cannot succeed you know because they treat their NFL business they treat their NFL team like family you know sometimes black people don't have the best family we don't have the best structure you know so I think that's what hurts I think that's what hurts the, uh, the black owners the most that um, you know, we don't have that tool that they have, you know, like we can't sit down with our dads and moms and discuss, you know, what's going on, you know, and like I have been in the white family before, you know, and it's mad different as like, it, it, it's totally different because my friend, you know, he's white and, you know, I mean, he could talk to his mom with, he could talk to his mom to anything. He could talk to his dad about anything. And they're more open and honest. Where a black family, you know, you tell them your struggles is like, you know, they'll listen, but they won't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they, they'll, they'll, they'll listen, but they'll, okay, yeah, I handle your business. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not saying that all black families are like that, but just some that comes out the slump, the ghetto, the projects. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, like I've. I I basically live in uh in Macy's projects, you know, it's uh it's a it's a it's a story shack house in uh in Brooklyn, New York. I uh, I also lived in, you know, Flatbush Avenue. So I lived a lot I lived the I lived the I lived the okay life, you know. Uh, you know, dad wasn't in the picture, mom was in the picture, so you know, you still, you, you have that little, you know, separation. And that's where a lot of these African-American players that you see on TV, some of them have different backgrounds. Some of them came from both parents. Some of them came from a single single parent household. You know what I'm saying? F five siblings, six siblings, seven siblings. Mom's working three, four jobs, you know. So, you have that structure. With these owners, they never had that, you know? They never had, you know, to live in a single parent household, you know? Like, their mom and dad tangle to the best of their abilities to make sure that they don't grow up like they did, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I just think that, you know, like I said, man, um, like, will it matter? If there's a if there's a black 
owner in the NFL? No. You know, like we witnessed, like, like who witnessed, you know, Barack Obama, Barack Obama being the first African American quarterback. I mean, African American president of the United States. A lot. You know, most people might say, well, he didn't necessarily do anything. What the hell did he do? He didn't do nothing. You know, it was just up for a publicity stunt. You know, like if he would have done something, he would have still been president. He would have still been going on his fourth term and stuff like that. Because, you know, the president can run for four years, just like how Trump was going to run if America wasn't so stubborn and retarded. You know, I mean, I, I mean, I guess they made the right move of basically, you know, going a different direction, you know what I'm saying, um, but, you know, it is what it is, but, you know, we, like, I, I can say we witnessed, you know, a great history in our time, because we witnessed a great president, you know what I'm saying, um, so, I just think that, you know, whether there's a black owner in the NFL or not, it's not really going to matter, you know, because right now all the teams in the NFL are stacked. You know, all the, NF, all the, NFL, all the NFL teams are stacked. So, like I said, the NFL, like the owners, the only way they would possibly step down is either if they die of old age, or they say something racial, like Bob McNair did when he said that we can't have it, you know, the 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 inmates run the asylum. You know what I'm saying? But obviously his 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 wife took over the team. Um, same thing with the Panthers, I believe. You know. The owner said something about, you know, uh, there's like a different owner now in, 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 in with the um, with the Panthers. So, I just think that we've come a long way, you know. Um, you know, whether there's a black owner in the NFL or not, I mean, it really doesn't matter, you know. Um, the owners don't necessarily do anything, if you, to be honest with you. The only thing, the, 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 the things that the owner do is take care of, you know, personal business, you know? Like, that's why they hired the head coach and the GM, you know? Because they can't run the league, they can't run the team by themselves. So they hire, you know, a GM or a head coach. So they just take care of the financial issues, you know, like parking tickets, concession stand foods, um, you know, locations, you know, if they want to upgrade TVs and stuff like that, that's the only time the owner actually comes out. That's why you never hear them. The only time you'll probably hear them is in meetings. If they go to, like, meetings and stuff like that. Or, you know, their team goes bad and then they have to, you know, force to ask questions and stuff like that. But if your team's going 11 and 5 each and every year, you don't necessarily hear from them, you know? So if your team does bad, you'll hear from them. If your team does good, you don't hear from them. You know, they like they like ghosts. You don't you, you don't see them at all. You know, so but uh you know, I mean a, a lot of people wanted I mean a lot of people wanted a black owner in the NFL. It don't ever happen, you know, cuz like I said there was a lot of people who wanted to own the Texans, the Panthers, you know, P. Diddy wanted to own the Panthers, you know, even Colin Kaepernick wanted to own the Panthers, he had the money to do it, but it was not going to hand the keys to Kaepernick or P. Diddy, you know, I don't know if it's a racial thing, I don't know if it's a family business thing, but it was not going to lend all that power to a black man, you know what I'm saying? Cuz this 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 nation, this country wasn't built for us, you know? It's it's if you really think about it, the system is tailor made for them. That's why when you see oh, you know, these the these crimes, you see, you know, a white person get 
patted on the back with, you know, two months of probation and this and that. But if a black person does it, oh, he gets 50 years in jail or, you know, because I remember there was a one incident on the news where, you know, uh, a, a, a guy in his mid-50s raped 11-year-old girl. He only got two years of probation and four years in, in, in the federal prison. And then after that, there was like another incident where a black guy killed two guys in, 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 um, in the gas station. And he got sentenced to 80 years. 80 years. So, you could tell... And you can tell that the system is broken. The system is tailor made for for the white guys, and that's just what it is, you know. So, I mean, I mean, look at the riot. Look at the riot that happened in the Centennial Hall. You know, them breaking into the Centennial. Like, if there was a black, if if, if it was a black mob, you would be you would be seeing blood everywhere. You'll be seeing blood everywhere. You know. And I believe that. I truly believe that, you know. But since it was a bunch of whole, since it was a bunch of Caucasian people, they just had tear gases and and shields and knives, not knives and 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 bats. Like really, like really. But you know, obviously, they're looking for them. They're looking for all of them, to be honest with you, because they're not gonna let that slide, you know. They, uh, uh, some of them are probably hiding. Some of them are probably like in Canada right now. So they're looking for them. They're looking for all of them. You know, every single one of them that was involved, they're looking for them. Some probably, some of them got arrested in the process. But, you know, if it was, like I said, if it was a black thing, you'll see, you, you'll see blood everywhere. You know, cause they we we get treated differently than than most, you know, minorities in the, in America. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, like I said, man, we'll never see a black owner, never. Black head coach, yes. Black GM, yes. Black offensive coordinator, defensive coordinators, yes. But we'll never see a black owner. It'll never happen. It won't happen. And that's what y'all have to understand. It's not because they don't trust a black person. It's just they're not built from the same cloth as us. You know, because we think differently. We move differently. So if a black owner were to own the NFL or would have owned the NFL teams, they would have done things differently, their way, you know. It is just, it's just what it is, you know. But like, comment, subscribe, and tell me why don't the NFL have a black owner? Uh, to next time, take care of yourself and each other.